Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you are well and hearty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. This is Fatima Sabrin Shikha, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School Morning Chief. Today I am going to take Home Science class for the students of Class 8 on the topic of Chapter 1, Creative Question Answer 1 2. I am repeating. Today our topic is Chapter 1, Creative Question Answer, that means CQA 1 2. Students, as we have completed reading or discussing the chapter 1, it's time to practice something. So today our topic is creative question answer. We are going to discuss creative question answer 1, 2 from your textbook. So let's start. Creative question 1. The stem is... Rashida and Sonia are friends. Both are able to meet the family demands. Students, here is a correction. It will be meet. M W E T. In your book, there is a mistake and it will be meet. M W E T. Both are able to meet the family demands. Rashida makes a plan to meet the demands of the family according to income. So, she does not face any economic problem. But Sonia has to face a tough time to meet the demands of her family members. She has to go for a loan from a known shop. Suddenly, Sonia's youngest son gets sick for which she borrows money from Rashida for a son's treatment. So from the t uh, from the stem we come to know that Rashida, who is a planned woman, uh, plans for every word. And on the other hand, Sonia, uh, always uh, opposite to Rashida, faces so many problems, economic problem. Uh, so uh, you have to give some answer based on this stem. Our first question is: Without which resource no family decision is possible to implement? Students, I hope you know the answer as we have completed this text, so you know the answer. So, for this question, you can write, no family decision is possible to implement without having household resource. We know there are so many household resources, so without this, we can't make any decision possible. Now, come to question number B. What is human resource? discuss so students do you know what is human resource we find there are two types of resources human resource and material resource and the question is asking about human resource so for this answer you can say knowledge ability strength intellect interest and attitude of human beings etc are considered as human resources these are the internal qualities of a person we know that these qualities can't be exchanged that is why these are called human resources now question number c what are the causes of this type of situation for sonia discuss so for this question uh, you can write according to your creativity or you can follow this answer sonia faces this type of unexpected situation due to the lack of money management our family needs are unlimited, but the financial resource is limited. Yes, uh, we have so many demands, so many needs and wants, but our resources are unlimited. Are limited. Our needs are limit, unlimited, but uh, our financial resource is limited. If money is spent in a planned way following a budget, then it is possible to maintain a balance between the income and the expenditure. Sonia does not maintain a budget as a result, she often faces financial crisis. If she spends the money in a planned way, she wouldn't have to borrow money from others. So from this answer, we come to know that Sonia, who always uh, used to uh, and follow or uh, who uh, never follow the plans uh, uh, faces some problems financial problems and if she is able to uh, follow the plans in proper way uh, she will not uh, not ha she don't have to borrow some money for his crisis now question D compare the planning of Rashida in meeting the names of the family members with that of Sonia 
In this answer, we can see in this team, both Rashida and Sonia are concerned about fulfilling the needs of their family. So uh, Rashida and Sonia, as uh, like other uh, people, they want to fulfill their needs of the family. Rashida lives a planned life and meets the demands of the family properly. So uh, from this team, we come to know that Rashida lives a planned life and meets the demands of the family properly. She maintains the balance between income and expenditure and for that, she can save some money. Uh, as uh, she is maintaining a plan, uh, planned uh, life, so uh, as she may make budget, and for that she can save money easily. So she doesn't have to face any unexpected situation while the family is in crisis. On the other hand, Sonia lives an unplanned life. As a result, she cannot maintain the balance between income and expenditure, and many of her family's important words remain unfulfilled. She often faces financial crisis. If Sonia spent money in a planned way, like Rashida, she wouldn't have to face any unexpected situation. She also wouldn't have to borrow money from Rashida for her allowing son if she had some savings. So uh, if, Rashi, uh, if Sonia used to uh, lead a life like Rashida, she, don't have to, she wouldn't have to borrow money when it is the time of uh, the treatment of his allowing son. So students, we all have to maintain a balanced life, a planned life, we have to make budget and then we can lead a happy life. Now it's time to practice creative question answer 2. The given stem is Shubo and Nelly are siblings. Shubo is preparing his lessons in his bedroom and Nelly is reading in the drawing room. Their mother made arrangements for Nelly to study in Shubo's room. As there was a single fan in the bedroom, Nelly could not get sufficient air for which she was sweating. By seeing his situ this situation, Shubo asked his sister to sit in such a place from where she can get air. So here we find uh, the situation of cooperation, personal cooperation. Here Shubo who uh, sacrifices for her for his sister, and uh, here we find the situation of a joint family. Now, first question is how many types of home resources are there? Discuss. So from this, how many types of uh, home resources we can find? From the text, we come to know that there are two types of home resource. So we can say there are two types of home resources. They are human resource and material resource. I'm repeating there are two types of home resources. They are human and material resources. Question number B, what is meant by proper use of energy? I'm repeating what is meant by proper use of energy. And the answer is proper use of energy refers to the maximization of work is using mini, uh, minimum level of energy. If each and every work is done in the place to determine for them, then no waste of energy takes place. Besides, if the tools and equipment needed for work are kept in the right place, then the works can be done easily in little labor. Question number C. By making arrangement to study in the same room for Shubo and Nelly, the proper use of which resource does mother ensure? Explain. So for this question, you have to explain. You can write the answer like this. In this time, Shubo and Nelly's mother has made the right use of fans and lights by making arrangement of their studying in the same room. Their mother did the proper arrangement for them because if they sit together, it will not waste uh, the economical problem. There are some resources in every family which need to be used jointly. These are known as shared resources. The family members should use these resources carefully. If the task which can be done in the same place are done in the different places, then it creates financial waste. 
Shubha and Nelly were studying in different rooms which was a waste of electricity. If they study in the same room, then electricity waste wouldn't take place. That's why their mother made their study arrangement in the same room and thus reduced waste. So if we do a such thing like Shubha and Nelly, if we sit together and in uh, one room, if we share and make, star, uh, make our study, then it will uh, be able to uh, lower the cost of electricity. We can be economically financial. And it's time to answer question number D. To agree that proper use of strength resources help developing sacrificing mentally in Shubha and Nelly justify. So for this question, we can say, I agree that proper use of strength resource will help developing the mentality of sacrificing personal interests among Shubha and Nelly who have been advised by their mother to be cooperative. A good relationship develops among the family members through compromise and endurance while using the joint resources. So like them, we have to uh, make consideration while using joint resources when we are living in a joint family. Every member of a family should remain careful while using joint resources because slight carelessness should remain prepared to sacrifice personal interests while using joint resources of the family. Shubha and Nelly were studying in different rooms. If they study in the same room, then electricity west wouldn't take place. The goal of every family member should be meeting maximum demands through using the limited family resources. Shubha has asked his sister to study in such a place where she can get sufficient air and thus showed an attitude of cooperation. So students, from this answer, we come to know that we, uh, uh, if we don't uh, live in a joint family or if we live in a joint family, we have to think about others' comfort and if we are able to use our uh, resources uh, by maintaining some management, then it will help us uh, and uh, our attitude uh, of cooperation will be enriched. Students, now it's time to provide your homework. Your homework will be creative question answer D of number 1. It means you have to answer creative question answer D from 1. So the question is compare the planning of Rashida in meeting the needs of the family members with that of Sonia. And students, don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number at the top of the corner of your copy. A lecture number is 3 and homework number is 2. I'm repeating a lecture number is 3 and homework number is 2. And you have to submit your homeworks on every Saturday. Students, please do your homework and you have to submit your homeworks on every Saturday. Guardians or anyone else can come to school and can submit your SW copies. That's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.